In California, the Santa Ana Library is turning to technology to communicate with children on the spectrum. It's also led to an unlikely friendship with a robot, opening up a whole new world for one four-year-old. Here's Elise Preston. Hi, Lukey. A surprise first meeting for Luke Sepulveda and his new futuristic friend. In different spaces, you don't know how he's going to react. So I was just hoping for the best. Ella Sepulveda's four-year-old son is on the autism spectrum. She wants to make sure he can communicate with the world around him. He was locked into that robot. Yeah. That's You're sweet. smiling. I know, that's sweet. From the inside out. <laughs> just knowing that a robot can engage his attention, yeah. that makes me happy. Here at the Santa Ana Public Library, robots are specially programmed to teach children with autism. One in 36 children in the U.S. is on this spectrum. This is one of the first libraries in the country to provide this pricey program free. It mainly supports children of color who are often underserved and diagnosed when they're older. That is the square. Touch the square. Larry Singer is the human helper behind the robots. Human beings have emotions. Human beings get tired. Human beings get frustrated. A robot, same response every single time. The tone is always the same. They're not critical. They're always comforting. I am proud of you. Aww, she's proud you of found. you. My hope and dream for him is really just do your best. You're awesome and you're loved. Elise Preston, CBS News, Santa Ana, California.